It's time! It's time! It's Jam Dummy Time! Alright guys, this is the time we're going to step in the ring with the greatest tag team in podcast history. Judge Freak Wrestling, the JFW Podcast, hosted by Travis Steen. And I'm Daly. Unfortunately, uh, Dizzle J couldn't be here because he's sick. We made the time for him and yeah. he's not Accommodated here. Accommodated him and uh, look what happened. But it's okay. 2021 is still uh, fucking uh, five months long, so <laughs> who knows, maybe we'll see him again. We mentioned last episode that we were going to kind of... Uh, commit a lot of the time on this show to talking about uh, a fancy booking of a women's pay-per-view like they did in Evolution. I think it was a 2018. 2017. I think so. Something uh, like that. And we're also going to do Queen of the Ring. Um, so we're going to get involved in all of that. But before we do, I got to mention that this episode of Just Freak Wrestling, the JFW Podcast, is brought to you by Audible.com. This is where people hit the skip button. There's a skip button? This think- is where people skip? Yeah. They're going to miss all the amazing uh, <laughs> offers that we have. Like Audible.com, it's a one-stop shop for all audio books. If you guys are just like me and you're a huge fan of stories, you're just not a huge fan of reading yourselves, or maybe you're a pro wrestler and don't know how, um, Audible.com is the best place for you to go, where you get the book read to you. Or you can just read. Don't read. Go to Audible instead. Go to audibletrial.com slash freaknet today and pick up a 30-day free trial. Press a cre- uh, credit to your first book purchase. That's our gift to you. AudibleTrial.com slash FreakNet. Okay, now you can do Ball Wash. No, I said I wasn't doing that one. Okay, so do Amazon Music. We don't even... Is that fully even done yet? It's completely done. I don't know why you volunteered to do it. You don't even know how to do it. Okay, well then tell me the info. No, I'm not telling you the info. Okay, then I'll just do tea public. Go okay. ahead. All right. We don't, oh, you do have a shirt on. Okay. okay of course I got a shirt on. <laughs> Oh, man, you read Freakin's, my second favorite album. Every time I see you, you have a JFW shirt on, or a Freaknet shirt on, or something. So if you want to be like Travis and own an entire wardrobe full of amazing merch, go to tpublic.com and search just Freakin' Wrestling. We have a bunch of different designs to choose from. Mm -hmm. We have flags, mugs, pens, notebooks, whatever, flag, same difference. Do you want to take over? No, I just want you to say the right thing. I want people going on Tee Public and trying to buy flags. We should get okay, JFW flags. Okay, it looks like God, a flag. we should get JFW flags. It looks like a flag? Uh, you can't tell from that view that it's a banner. It has the same material as a flag. 100% banner. Don't touch that. You'll tear it down. You break shit. I'm a little destructive. Totally 100%. Go ahead. You're, you're, you're doing great. Fucking hey, Crush us. Go ahead. <laughs> So go ahead and search tpublic.com, T-E-E-P-U-B-L-I-C.com. Search JFW and find all your merchandise. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll do more of the plugs later. Um, so we're going to dive into the pay-per-view and the uh, Queen of the Ring. We'll figure out which one we're going to do first. We're going to do this now? This is going to be the whole thing? No, we're going to do it in a little bit. Okay. There are there are a couple, couple things that I did make note of that I do want to talk about. Oh, the Daniel Bryan and CM Punk? Right? Do you think that's real? Is that like a? I don't even know. Like, I really don't know if it's real or not. I, I heard. I heard rumor that it is. I heard rumor. Like, that I didn't even hear. It. I didn't even know that Daniel Bryan was fully released. I just thought he was like out for a while or re-signing or whatever. I didn't know he was actually released. I knew he was released. I knew like when they did the uh, loser leave SmackDown match, like that was that was it. Yeah, um, but they didn't really specify. They said SmackDown. He could have gone to Raw or whatever and ended up coming back. I think the original idea was they were thinking NXT. And that's what I thought for the most part. Um, yeah, lately, they've always been posting on the on the website, so-and-so has been released. We wish them their best in their future endeavors. Uh, they haven't done that for... They don't do that for people like Daniel Bryan, I guess. Well, they don't want people to know. Because then they sign with AEW. Um, that was one thing I did forget that we talked about is, uh, kind of giving an update on where everyone's at. So, excuse me, we'll do that in the next episode. But, from what I understood from, uh, because I am going to AEW All Out. When is that? Next month? Uh, that is, uh, 
September 5th, I believe. Labor Day weekend. Uh, the rumor is CM Punk is signed to AEW and should debut in Chicago at the pay-per-view. And also Daniel Bryan should debut at the show, I believe, in New York, which is, I can't remember if it's the month before or the month after. But they're not debuting together. They're debuting That'd be awesome. Freaking riff a bit blown off that place. Yeah. But uh, you sat there and you told me how you want to talk about independent wrestling. So we're going to talk about independent wrestling. Are you sure? Totally. Come on now. We're going to talk about a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, and it's not going to be what you're thinking. Okay. So but I uh, hope I know what you're going to talk about because... Do you know who Nick Gage is? Nope. Are you kidding me? Wait, who? Nick Gage? Nick Gage? Yeah. No. Okay, I guess we're not talking about that then. Who is he? Is that his real name or his work name? Is, I don't fucking know. It's his name. It could be his real name, but I know it's his wrestling name. How do you not know Do you have Nick a picture Gage? of him? No. I don't know. I'm not pulling, I'm not pulling up a photo in <laughs> the middle of our up. podcast. I'm looking at this. How do you not know Nick Gage? Where is, who does he work for? Why are you giving at me that? Uh, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. It's it's fine. You probably wouldn't know him. Uh, so Nick Gage is a deathmatch wrestler. Oh, that's why. He lost the title to Matt Cardona last week. Oh, Zack Ryder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wrestled Chris Jericho on AEW this week. He got arrested for bank robbing. Uh, died for eight minutes after a death match. Uh, dude is pretty well known. They did a dark side of the ring about him. But I didn't know about that. Since uh, since you don't know about him, I guess we won't talk about that. So uh, SummerSlam, August twenty first. Why? What did you want to talk about? What, Nick Gage? Yeah, what did you want to talk just, about? Just the opinion of him wrestling on AEW, knowing that he's a convicted felon and uh, he's a deathmatch wrestler. But I mean, so was John Moxley. It's okay. I'll wait for Dad. I'll wait for DJ to get back. We're the cool. F- I hate you. You don't know about him, so we can't talk about him. I was trying to get involved in that. But you don't know about him, and I don't want to put you into the place where you're just like, I think it's okay. I didn't, I didn't say it was okay. Good. Tell me about Nick Gage wrestling in AEW. No, I... Okay, if he really is a freaking felon, I don't think anyone should glor, like glamorize that. Look at you as a felon. Like, for real? Or was it like something stupid and minor? Arm um, robbery? Booker D, Arm Robert. He was before he became a wrestler. You didn't know that either? Before he was a wrestler? Okay, well, that's his past. That's true. Like, true, true. Gage kind of did it. It didn't happen night. during it. I know. Gage kind of did it during it. Yeah. We're going to circle back to you this. You know how many episode. people got, like, fired for stupid shit? Right. You, got your, you, got your, you got your pen there. Make a note. What note? Make a note. Watch Nick Gage, Dark Side of the Ring. And then, I don't uh, have cable. It's on YouTube. So I, the whole thing? 100%. Okay, well, I don't watch it. Then. It's like 45 minutes. Make a note. Okay. Make a note. Use my pen that you found on the ground. That you threw at 100%. me. 100%. 100%. I throw shit. Toe the company line. Um, We'll talk about Nick Cage on the next episode after you watch Dark Side of the Ring. Uh, SummerSlam is August 21st. It's a Saturday. Uh, they're all, all the shows are live now, right? With the audience? All as of them? As I know. But what's your thoughts on them having a pay-per-view on a Saturday? It's on a Saturday? Or what, there's something going on on Sunday? Takeover. Usually takeover's on Saturday. I know. That's why I'm bringing it up. That's weird. I know. Again, that's why I'm bringing it up. Well, I didn't even know about it, so you're just informing me for the first time. I know. I would just want your opinion on it. I don't want you I don't want you to give me the behind-the-scenes facts and realistic... Uh, that's weird. I don't like that. I know. I mean, like... Why you gotta change shit? I know. I don't like change. I don't want to be kind of change. That's why I'm bringing it up. I mean, yeah, for some people, it might be a good thing that they could stay up late and watch it, not to worry about going to work Monday tired for staying up watching wrestling or whatever, like I used to do all the time. But it's so I, we're so used to having pay-per-views on Sundays, it's just like a thing. Like, I don't know why you had to change it. I mean, yeah, it's, they're still wrestling on NXT, but like, it's supposed to be the other way. Yeah, it's weird. That's why I brought it up. Uh, What's your opinion, Travis? I think it's goofy to think that they're actually doing that. Now, Are I they know, in the like, same city? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just noticed the date, and I was like, that seems kind of weird. Is no, it a holiday? No. No. No, that's weird. 
No. There's, 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 there's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm sure there's a logical reason in the boardroom aspect of it all. But it's just weird to think that, you know, when you look at WrestleMania, Royal Rumbles, you know, Survivor Series, TakeOver Saturday, main event is on Sunday. And this, they kind of just flip-flopped it. Um, it's weird, especially for SummerSlam being one of the big four, that they would change that up. So, I don't know. Um, maybe they're trying something different to see how the viewership is. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte Flair's title reigns being decreased. Tell me you about know what? That. She still got a freaking title. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. She was still. It. it still added the number onto not, her. <laughs> not belittling it. Belittling it in any way. I just want your opinion on it. They dropped it from 14. To I mean, 11. I don't. It's whatever. You know, she's gonna. I mean, she's a champion. Okay. She's the queen, so she's gonna. Have titles on and off her whole freaking career. It's nothing. It means nothing to her. So just drop it. She's like, other people deserve opportunities too. Do I think the way they did it was good? No, I did not like the way they did it. But, like I said, she's like, what, what do they call it? Title. What ti- How many title reigns is it? Like eight or nine now for her? And it's just going to keep going up. 11. Is it 11? It's 11. It was 14. And they took two NXT women's titles and uh, tag team title away. Yes. Why? I don't know. She was five time Raw champion, five time SmackDown champion, and one time Diva champion. That still counts as a reign, though. They can't take that. They're not. They're taking away the tag team champion reign and the two NXT women championship reigns because they're not world titles. NXT is not defined as a world championship. But should. But it's not. Why would it be defined as a world title? It's still, it's still WWE. So? That's like saying they don't count the Cruiserweights championship as a reign for people. Or the hardcore. I guess it kind of depends on if you wrestled uh, across the world with it. The, was the NXT title ever defended outside the United States? I don't freaking know. I just watch it. I don't pay attention to where it's you at. You just watch. <laughs> so here on a wrestling podcast where we are supposed to give our views and opinions on the wrestling world... You just watch, but you don't pay attention to it. I pay attention, but no. Obviously, it's been a long time since they've traveled out of the country. To say it. It's been a long time since you actually watched wrestling. No, I've watched wrestling. Yeah? We'll find out. Uh, I'm going to stab maybe, him with this pen. I think, I think, uh, I think we're going to start doing quiz quiz shit here at uh, on JFW. I'm going to start quizzing you guys. Okay, then I'll quiz you back. Go for it. I'll ace everything. I'm amazing. Except a uh, triple threat match at WrestleMania that you apparently went to. I'm not lying. I believe you 100%. I totally believe you 100% because... As, Why would I lie about that? As a leader and uh, the head of JFW, I take pride in knowing that my employees won't lie to me. And uh, I pride myself on uh, having trust in people until they tell me otherwise. Mm-hmm. Point in case, anyone over there on your uh, right side? DJ. Okay. Um, what else do you want to talk about? You want to talk a little bit about SCW? Because we can totally do that. Sure. I mean, I didn't... Yeah, it's yes or no, Dally. Give me yes or no. <laughs> yes or no. Yeah, just okay, do it. Cool. Tell me about SCW. Considering we... You didn't get... You did not get to record the indie show. So we had to include it a little bit. Is it supposed to be a weekly thing? Yeah. I'm going to record it on Sunday, but... Just for old time's sake. DJ's not here. Steve couldn't make it. Oh, Third week, uh, and he's bailing already. Uh, what? Talk about SCW. Talk about SCW. Tell me about the pay-per-view. Talk about the show. Tell me about SCW. What do you want me to talk about? I want to talk about everything that happened to an extent. To an extent. Because we are going to go on, because me and Steve are going to go to it in long form on the indie show. But tell me about the things that stuck out to you as far as... What are game changers going on at SCW that came out of the SCW show? Out of Dissension 8, the one that just happened. The just one just that the just one show. Happened. Like, what came out of that show that looks like it's going to change the landscape of SCW in the future? A couple things. I know. And I, yeah, want you, yeah, I would yeah. love for you to tell me about them. Well, why, why, you watched it too. I know, but I want you to tell me about them. Why? Because you were there and you want to be part of the indie stuff. Okay. But, 
I'm gonna kill him. You kill me all you want, but just tell. <laughs> So, okay, so I feel I'll, like I'll, I'll tell you what I'm just going to give you some key points. You just give me. Can I do the key points first? Because you told I, me I've to been, talk. I've been trying to no. tell you to talk. And... I'm gonna hit the table. I, I wouldn't do that. Key points. Let's go. Okay. The first one. Wait, does it have to be in order? Can I remember no, the order? I fuck. So I just want the key points. John Hudson returned. Hundred percent. Um, so basically we made it known him and Aaron and Xavier, they're coming after the tag titles. So I think that's a major, like, key of a, like, there's finally a tag team worthy coming in to challenge Elite Pain, you know? Yeah. And side note, for John Hudson, congratulations on your quick recovery back to the ring. Absolutely amazing to have neck surgery and back within what? Six weeks, something like that, eight weeks. Well, he didn't say when for sure he's, I mean, is he cleared? I don't even know. I really don't know. All I know is that he was there and clear, he threw hands. Clear That's all or I not, know. Clear not to step into the wrestling ring with, you know, JPH, Hunter Payne, all that. I mean, the fact that he put his body, life on the line in that moment to not only make a statement that he is coming back, but also to back his new tag team partner, I think it's cool. So congratulations on your speedy recovery. I know we talked about it. In the interview that uh, me and Steve did with Evil Games and Evil, you guys should check out on a previous episode. Um, definitely first time in a long time where it's legit competition for Elite Pain. Yeah, and they're, they're, I'll tell you, like, I haven't seen them wrestle. Obviously, they have not teamed, so I haven't seen them as yeah. a team yet. Uh, but they, between the two of them, they just seem very manipulative and really, like, like just like Aaron says, he's the evil genius. Mm-hmm. I Almost. think it's, they're going to give Elite Pain... I, I I could even see a series of matches between them, honestly. Yeah. I don't see them going over fairly or clean. I feel, Why not? Cause, because. Why? You see what they did? You know, I can see them going over. I can see C. Red betraying Elite Pain because he does it verbally uh, on the Powerhouse Hour all the time. So, uh, Aaron Xavier almost walked away with the SCW Heavyweight Championship. But he didn't. But he did not. Angel did. However, Angel did win the, the women's SCW championship. Movie. So how is because I I mentioned it on the indie uh, show with Steve, um, how previous to twenty twenty one, even twenty twenty, obviously that whole year is kind of a wash. But uh, there was a there was a lack of talent, like a, not talent per se, but a, a enough talent to make a women's divi- division, women's division, but even a tag team division viable. Mm-hmm. And it seems like 2021 has been a key point, and whoever's in charge, whether it's Sentinel, John Hurt, Terry, what's Terry's last name? Terry's Terry name. Allen? I don't know. I, maybe. I can't remember. Um, I, 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 I don't know what he's going by, to be honest with you. I don't you. even know what he's going by either. That's why I was asking you. I know his name's Terry. I, it could be Archer. It could be Allen. I don't know. Yeah, his, well, his name's Archer, but he went by Allen, so I don't freaking know which one he's right. using. She did that to you, Terry. I'm sorry. Uh, I love you, Terry. <laughs> uh, so whether it's Terry Allen, Sentinel, John Hurt, uh, Keith, I don't see him being in the... I know he wants his... He's job, always there, though. But He's like, always what, there. What I'm trying to say is... What you're trying to say is... Yeah, are you listening? No. You should. This is how you learn about wrestling that you don't watch. I know, okay. Um, Why am I here? I don't even know. Why aren't you wearing pants again? Oh my god. I knew <laughs> uh, you were going to fucking do that. I knew you were going to fucking do that. Um, Doug Keese is there, but I don't think he has any kind of pull or authority in the offices at SCW anymore. So when it comes down to it, there's three people who you have seen have authority of SCW. John Hurt, Sentinel, and Terry Ann, at least for the If you even want to count John Hurt, because he was there like, what, two times? He was still there. There was an authority at that point. Granted, Listen, in the beginning, Sentinel was there a lot. But he just stopped showing yeah, yeah. up. He was he was at Rock and Wrestling though. He was. He made it a point to point me out of the crowd. So. Well, how could you miss? How could you not? I know. It's probably because I was wearing JFW merch. But I was wearing the uh, "fuck your booking" shirt, which goes great with Sentinel. Um. So, Angel comes in. Uh, there's a couple new talent that came in. Uh as well over the last few months. Tell me about the women's division in SCW. How do you see it 
grown in a positive way, uh, like just from what you've seen in previous years? Because you you worked for SCW for what at least three, four, five years, whatever the fuck it is, a decade. I don't know how long you've been there. Um, <laughs> but you've seen you've seen the growth, and I think women women's wrestling is something that is getting better as we go through uh, as we move forward into wrestling. The whole reason you're here is because of women's wrestling. So, hey, equality for all, up to, you know, a third. But tell me about women's wrestling at SCW. You know, by all means, we're not... It still needs to grow, for sure. I mean, r- women's wrestling is just, you know... it. Yes, we've seen women come and go throughout... How long has SCW been around now? Eight, nine years? That was rude. SCW? Okay, well, it started off with uh, CSW Southland. That's right. Merged into Southland, but I... SCW came on at 17. You worked there. It all blends in with me and my mind, okay? It's all the same thing in my brain, so... True. You know, you've seen female talent come and go, and they're hard to come by. You know, they're... And just because they're hard to come by, that's why everyone's pulling them in, grabbing them, booking them so far in advance. It's hard to get anyone booked. Because she's working here, she's working here, and there's so many companies around the Midwest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the good ones are really hard to come by. Yeah. Like, I would still love to see even Sierra make a return to SCW. Sierra. I know that has been difficult to do. And Melanie Cruz started coming around until then. She, of course, got signed with AEW. She's been doing a lot of traveling. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing, too, is, like, I mean, like, you have a mainstay in Natasha who's been in SCW, as far as I know, three years, maybe four. Um... You had, when, at least from when I started going, you had Moxie Molly, who's no longer around. She's on a, a sabbatical, a hiatus, whatever you want to call it. Um, you had Natasha, who, like again, mainstay there. Paloma came in from AEW, became women's champion. Uh, Wait, who? Paloma. You said AEW. ARW. Yeah, same, that's it's the meant. same company. It's <laughs> not. Um... AR, she came from ARW. Uh, Melanie Cruz, ARW. I can't remember the one girl. Uh, the uh, the Undertaker-esque persona. Casey Dillon? Yeah. Uh, retired. So you, you get wrestlers who come in, but they don't stay for that long for one reason or another. But it seems now SCW is kind of growing talent. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kendra. Uh, started showing up I think at the beginning of 2020 mm-hmm. um, yeah so she has she, been in and out she's everywhere as well you know yeah and you can't expect someone to stay with one company you no. know you just can't that's not how I mean you want to work you know exactly you want to get your name out there and I think that's pretty cool how SCW is giving uh, JPH an opportunity to defend the SCW championship outside the company I think he has a show I, I don't know if it's next week or in a couple weeks whatever that we used to find the SCW Championship, I think, against... Um, Scott Spade. Scott Spade, the same guy that kind of had that Ivan Manson incident at the end of the the episode, uh, the show. Uh, run me through that, too, because that was kind of an interesting like uh, situation at the end of the show where... They, I, obviously, I didn't, make the, I didn't make it to Shaban, so I did order the pay-per-view, and it kind of cut off right when the ambulance arrived. So... For those who didn't see it, tell everyone what happened and if you could kind of fill in everybody what happened post pay per view after the ambulance came in and all that. Okay, bear with me because I'm really bad at explaining things. <laughs> oh, n- really? <laughs> no. God. You are so, a detail fiend. Am I? No. Oh. Okay. So, uh, Ivan Manson was supposed to have a match with Tiny, which is Scott Spade's manager. Mm hmm. I think it was supposed to be a dog collar match, but I don't remember reading that. I don't remember. I don't remember either. seeing that online or anything, but that's what they announced. I thought it was supposed to be a dog collar match, but I guess it didn't. I don't know. Someone was scared. Whatever. So, you know, you know how the Mansons make their entrance because that's what they do. They come in the ring and, you know, they get blindsided, both of them. Even Char- poor Charlie gets choked out. Yeah. Poor guy. And Which is weird because... For the time I've been there, I've never seen anyone actually get their hands on Charlie. Yeah, I really... He's too quick. Yeah. Squirrely. Slip right through you. That's right. No, but yeah, he got... He got laid out. Ivan got attacked. You know, Scott comes out with that chain. He was 
choking him with that. They ended up somehow getting the chain wrapped around the rope to where he was actually kind of hanging there, like, mm. like choking him. And we didn't know, like, I couldn't really see because, you know, I'm on the merch table, like, all the way on the far side, and it was happening all the way on the other side of the gym. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to see exactly what was going on or what he was doing. Um, I, yes, I, I work there, but, you know, I'm not on the ends with everything. But I... I don't know. The one thing I know, he's being choked. The next thing I know, he's on the ground. The whole locker room comes out. We don't know if he's okay, if he's not. Like, minutes go by. They're trying to undo the ring to get the the chain undone so he can breathe. Before you know it, the freaking ambulance is there. He's out on a stretcher, and he just, he's gone. Gone. Very detailed. Gone. 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 Um, and like the, uh, what's his name, on. Steve? Who? The announcer, or the, com- not the, uh, announce- uh, not announcer, uh, commentator. Commentator. Steve. Steve. From Powerhouse, uh, from the Power Hour or whatever the fuck. Like I, like I was hearing him say, is this the end of the family? No. Ivan runs the family, though. Him and Charlie, they're, they're the main, they're, they're the backbone of the family. So we don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to come back? Are they? What's what's Ivan's condition? I don't even know. Well, I do know in 2019 when we did a roundtable for Southland Championship Wrestling. You're welcome. Uh, Ivan did say that he was going to do it one more year into the business and then call it a career. Obviously, 2020 happened. Um, that wasn't so. I made 2021 the the year. Um, don't see him wanting to go out the way he did. So no, I not could, at all. So I could definitely see him coming back. But it's still, we still got, what, five, six more months of the year. Yes. If he comes back, you know, That's I could true. see him probably trying to go with this and get some payback with the Scott Spade and Tiny. 100%. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is Keith and Terry. Uh, what was the announcement made in the ring uh, between the two? Okay, so... I believe I believe it's next month. Um, there will be a tag team match. I believe tag team match. Maybe. A tag team match. You um, were there. I wasn't. You were watching no. Yeah. I gotta focus on shit too. You know, I can't just ignore the people in front of me. I was eating a burrito. He was watching the pay per view and eating a burrito while working. Life. Must be nice. So <laughs> we we all like to dream big, and sometimes we just happen to live it too. So, uh, so basically, goes. I don't know what the hell happened with Sentinel or John Hurt yeah. or anything. No, no freaking clue. They just kind of vanished. But uh, next month there will be a tag match between Doug Keese and I believe VJ Price. I think VJ Price is his partner. I don't really know. Uh, I would assume that's no who was his partner or Bo. Weird, I don't know. Weird no Bo this Where's Bo? Like, I don't yeah. even know where Bo is, but who yeah. cares? He freaking, he's dumb. Cage was there. Yeah, he was. He was com- Cage, uh, commentating. Cage, Cage was commentating. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, you know, he's still putting in the work. You know, he's out with a bad knee and he still wants to be there and put the work in. Yep. Any way he can. Much respect for that. Sure. Um. But yeah, so... There's going to be a tag team match between Keith and his partner versus Terry and his partner. We don't know who's Terry's partner yet. No clue. No idea. So, the, basically, the winner of that match will be in control of the company. Who, who who does Terry bring in? I have no idea. But think about it. Come on. I don't know. You grew up around these people. Yeah, but I don't... Who do you think Terry brings in? From the SCW roster now? No, just anybody in general. Fancy <sighs> with this shit. Come on, Dally. Get your head out of your ass. God. Do I get stabbed again? Oh, you want to put pants on? No, I'm comfortable. Thanks for asking. This episode is now called Pantsless and Dally. Dally pants. <laughs> Dilly Dally pants. Am I a joke to you? A little bit. I'm freaking joke to everybody. I don't know. I'm just here. Just... Mm-hmm. Anyways, Terry Allen. Who who would he want to bring back? Would he would he bring would he pull somebody from the SCW roster? Would you pull someone from the Windy City? Uh, you know days. It's like like where where do you think Terry's mind would be going into this match? Because it's a pretty important match. It is, and I know for a fact that 
you know, Terry's got the mind for this. And he would do anything. Because I, I could tell you, yes, Keith has been, like, president before. Mm-hmm. He knows the roster and there's history, whatever. Terry does not play favorites. Yeah. I know who he's picking. You know who he's picking. I know who he's picking. Who is he picking? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Hunter Payne. <laughs> Think about it. Hunter Payne owes him. No, they're going to have... What? Hunter Payne owes him. Okay, no, but the they're not going to put him in that match. The only reason Hunter Payne... Like, had, he, Hunter's got his own tag team to worry about. Yeah, but if if Hudson isn't ready to come back, they're not going to have a tag team title match. Hunter's available. Terry seems like the kind of guy that's like, listen, I'll help you out, but you're going to help me, and one day I'm going to call in that favor. The only reason... Hunter was SCW Heavyweight Championship was because it was handed to him by Terry. He's going to call in that favor. Not technically. No, 100% technically. True. Not technically. He did true. not put his hands on him. 100% true. He literally opened a briefcase, handed him the title. He held on the rope and Ivan went over. 100% true. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't know that was happening. Hunter owes Terry. And if I know what I know based on watching movies like Gotti or Goodfellas or Casino... Or The Godfather, or uh, Public Enemy. Oh, hey, you stop there. Or Continue Corky with. Or Corky Romano, uh, or uh, Bugs Life. Uh, I know that when you when when you owe somebody, they're going to come and collect. I'm gonna say Hunter Penn. I think it's gonna get. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a shock. I don't think it's gonna be somebody will anybody will expect. It'd be nice for it to be Cage, but I don't think Cage would be. He, I don't think he'll one. be ready. I mean, that would be nice. Yeah. It would be make sense, but I don't think he'll be cleared to wrestle. I'm gonna say Hunter Payne. I'm gonna call it now. Hmm. And if it is, I don't know. I'm just proud of myself. For what? For just fucking guessing. You're not. You're not right about everything, you know. Not everything, but sometimes shit happens. I'm just saying, you know, look day day e. A lot of the shit is going on. I guesstimated it, and oh shit, we got, I'm assuming that there's a writer at, at fucking Connecticut who just runs through JFW episodes like, oh, that sounds like a great fucking idea. Yeah, I'm sure they do because they have nothing else to do with their time. Nah, there's no better time than when you're sitting down listening to or watching JFW. All right. You want to do the Queen of the Ring or you want to do the pay per view first? Um, let's, let's do Queen of the Ring. Yeah, because it's way too long to answer. The way the way that Queen I do the Ring. <laughs> the way I made the bracket for the Queen yeah, of the Ring too. goes into the pay per view. So yes. Yeah. Okay. And no, we did not plan this. What? That we did the exact same shit. Basically. Just that good. All right, go ahead. Because great minds stand alike. Go ahead. What, are you gonna explain? Yeah, you made a bracket. Tell me about the bracket. <laughs> okay, so I wait. Are you gonna like? I don't even know what, how to like go about it. Do I just say the names? You seem flustered, Dally. I am flustered because I don't like being thrown into things. All right. Can you okay? Can you explain what the bracket's for? Like I don't even know if they know what we're talking about. It kind of seems like this is a messy situation. <laughs> And the best way to clean a messy situation is getting ball wash from ballwash.com. Oh my god, I knew he was going to interrupt it's me. It's a one stop shop talking. for all your hygiene products. Everything from shampoos, conditioners, to body washes. That's right. You can clean yourself from head to toe, from hole to pole. Because when it comes to your sack, they got your back because nothing gets you wiener cleaner than ballwash.com. Pick up yourself some shampoos, conditioners, body washes. They got a nice little nut rub for you. Ball guard, which is a hero to everyone with, with thick thighs and a sweaty uh, fucking summer day. Helps you out uh, a lot. Ball wash, ball guard, all of it. Go to ballwash.com, fill up your cart. Use the promo code FREAKNET, that's F-R-E-A-K-N-E-T. You'll save yourself 15% on your entire order. Ballwash.com, guys. Check it out. All right. So uh, we did a 16-person bracket because that is the traditional bracket for uh, King of the Ring for Dite F, Dite E. Uh, we picked 16 people. We fantasy booked it. Uh, so we got to pick whoever we want uh, from whatever era. Um, totally. I, I was more realistic with it, though. 
No, you weren't. Yes, no, I was. No, you weren't. No, no, no. Yes, I was. No, you weren't. I wasn't combining the eras because it wouldn't make no sense. You can't put... Mine is freaking... more realistic than yours. Okay, then let's do two separate ones. Listen, lady. One I'm from not... today, one you from the past. You don't, want, you don't want me to sit here and critique your shit. I won't, but if you tell me that yours is more realistic than mine, I'll, I'll challenge that till the end of the day. I'll tell you right now, not one of my pers- people had to retire Your from persons? My, yep. From my <laughs> persons. Uh, had to retire due to a neck injury. But it's not set in that stone one. that she's done. She could come I, back. I, Daniel Bryan came back after neck surgery. So did Edge. Yeah, exactly. And Kurt Angle. Cool. So if you guys want to wait to see a Queen of the Ring whenever this person's ready to come back, feel free. Mine will be ready by October. Okay, go ahead then, genius. I won. <coughs> uh, so, my 16, I have Rhea Ripley taking on Naomi. I have Tori Storm taking on Carmella. I have Tamina taking on Liv Morgan. Sasha Banks taking on Mia Yim. Shayna Baszler taking on Asuka. Alexa Bliss taking on Eva Marie. Nikki Ash, almost superhero, Raw Women's Champion, congratulations, taking on Nia Jax. And Dana Brooke taking on Charlotte Flair. I don't feel like any of those matches would be enjoyable to watch, except for like two of them. Okay. But that's my opinion. Go ahead. Tell me about you. I made matches that actually I thought would be great yeah, to watch. 100%. Go ahead. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Because I'm ready to hear your matches. so I can You already see- know what my matches are. You already read my notebook. Go ahead. Read, read them out loud and I'll tell you why mine's better than yours. Go for it. Yes, I'm aware that a couple of my people are injured right now, but we're not going by that. But it's okay because of realism. <laughs> Go ahead. You got you got this. Bailey versus Nikki Ash. Yeah, nine nine months out with an ACL tear. Okay. We never said when this pay per view was. True. So we'll wait. So it l- could be a year from at now. At least a year from now. Minimum. And then I put Charlotte Flair versus Raquel Gonzalez. I think that would be an amazing match. Yeah, I would like that. Uh, Becky Lynch I mean, versus... I would bury the NXT Women's Champion just so Charlotte Flair can advance, but whatever. Go ahead. First round match, too, guys. Go ahead. No, I'm listening. Awesome. Awesome so far. Fucking crushing this. Becky Lynch versus Asuka. Yeah, that's an burial of Asuka, so Becky get over because she's coming back from being a mom. Awesome. Cool. Go ahead. Do you want to just read my paper for me? No, I want you to... I mean, I, do you want me to? Yeah, I can read No, it. stop. Okay, go ahead. Stop critiquing everything. I will stop. The, you, from this moment on, no more critiquing. You everything. wanted me to make this list. And I'm look, not, it, it's so neat and nice. I don't even know if you could see it. But no, there's like an actual bit. There's like an actual bracket. I mean, it's so nice and organized. It's colorful, too. It's it is colorful. It's color-coded. I'm so glad she did the 16. I did. I know you did. I'm proud of you. At least I'm here. It's true. DJ's not. Anyways, okay. So after uh, after uh, Oscar gets buried, we got Sasha versus Ember Moon. Also a great match. Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax. No. Two powerhouses. What? Not really, no. What? No. No what? Not a big fan of Nia Jax. Well, does it mean you? She was my throw. She was my throwaway with a quick roll up by Nikki Ash. So. We're going. Okay. Bianca Belair versus the returning Paige. Yeah, returning. Yeah. Natalia versus Naomi, and then the returning Beth Phoenix versus Alexa Bliss. Um, wait for uh, Beth to take a spot. Of She's she oh, she could she was at was it last WrestleMania she had a match with Natty or was it the year before for the tag titles when so, they that like twenty twenty she still got it twenty eighteen it's twenty eighteen she does still got it. If she, she wanted did. to wrestle, she would. She was in the uh, Royal Rumble, wrestled through it uh, with her fucking head split open. Yeah. Michelle she's, McCool, she's monster. honestly, still looks great in the ring. Monster. Too. So you gotta give credit to Michelle McCool, too. She's still great in the ring. Well, you see, I was gonna include her, but, you know, it's hard to include mix today's roster with the era from, like, 10, 15 years ago. Like... Yeah. You can't put someone in their prime today against someone that had their prime 15 years ago. It True. just wouldn't go well. 100%. I agree if, with you. Yeah. I agree. 100%. I'm not arguing that one bit. 
Um, so I had Rhea Ripley and Carmella advancing in their matches, taking each other on. I had Liv Morgan and Sasha Banks advancing in their matches and uh, taking on each other. Asuka and Alexa Blith advanced to uh, take on each other, and then Nikki Ash and Charlotte Flair took on each other. So, go ahead. I had Bailey over Nikki. Okay. Charlotte over Raquel, obviously. Obviously, why? Because it's Charlotte? <laughs> uh, Becky. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's because I'm fat or because I can't read, but that looks like it says chocolate. And it says Charlotte. I believe it's just because I'm fat. Must maybe then. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it says chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate flair. <laughs> okay. I had Becky over Asuka. Yeah. Sasha over Ember. Rhea over Naya. Paige over Bianca. And Natalia over Naomi and Beth over Alexa. So, Bailey, Charlotte, Becky. Sasha, Rhea, Paige, Natty, and Beth. Cool. Continue. Now, do me a favor. I'm going to have you do more work than me. Tell me how each of these matches end. Okay. Because I'm curious about that. All right. So, <laughs> Bailey's just, you know, she's... I'd go with a quick roll-up roll cheat because she's a heel. Well... That's just me. I, that's why I want to ask you. Know, Does she cheat to win? She has to, right? Because she's a heel and that's Nikki Ash. Yeah, and she's the Raw Women's Champion, so yeah. yes. Okay. If she was the champion when this happened, yes. Okay. Cheat victory. Okay. Charlotte and Raquel... I feel like it would be a, probably a 10 to 15 minute match. But how's it end? I don't care about how long it is. How's Raquel it taps. Really? See, I would do a Dakota Kai interference. But Dakota Kai's not in there, so it wouldn't make any sense for me to include her because she's not in the tournament. But she already turned on her. Well, yeah, but if you let me get to the pay-per-view matches. No. Yeah, but see, we're not at the pay-per-view yet. This is also builds up to a pay-per-view, which, fun fact, these pay-per-view matches are kind of similar to what would happen soon, and this is all about, like, you know, eventually down the line. So keep that in mind, too. So, you're, you're booking a Queen of the Ring next year for a pay-per-view that's happening in a couple months. <sighs> but who am I? Anyways, great. I'm just telling you what I would do. I would have Raquel get, uh, get attacked by Dakota Kai in the middle of the match. But that's just me. You could do tapping. I just wouldn't tap out the powerhouse NXT Women's Champion. Yeah, but about. she's Charlotte Flair. She's got to prove her point. She also lost to Nikki Ash. So keep that in mind. Anyways, Becky and Asuka. I don't know how that match would end. I feel like it's just a clean victory. Just a disarmor? Tap out? I don't think she'll tap Asuka out. But Becky doesn't have a finisher. She has a submission finisher. You think she'll return with a finisher? Maybe. If Becky was to return, what would her finish be? What, what, what would Becky come back and use as a finisher? Would she use her fucking fiance's curb stomp? Because I think that'd be pretty fucking cool. Yeah, they can't do the curb stomp anymore. Yeah, they can. I thought they... I thought they, they brought it back. It. No, they brought it back. Oh, they did? Oh, fuck yeah. It's been back for a couple years now. I've never seen... I haven't seen Seth do it lately. He, he does it all the time. Lately? Yeah. I don't even... Okay. I clearly don't he just doesn't. He just, just doesn't wrestle that often. But, I don't know, it'd be cool to see Becky come back with a, with an actual finisher finisher, but she'd have to tap Asuka out or, like, a quick, like, small package or something like that because she doesn't have, like, a finisher. Flying leg, ta leg drop from the top. And the yeah. reason I put that match out is because we've seen them go at it before, and yeah. they put on phenomenal matches. Yeah. So. Sasha Number, how's that end? Yeah, it's got to be a clean submission, right? Why is everything going to be submissions? Because Sasha's finisher is a submission. Well. I'm not saying everything has to be a submission, but I mean, fucking look at it. Okay, Bailey does her, like, knee so thing. That's a pin. Nikki has a pin. Charlotte has a submission. Raquel Gonzalez has a pin. Becky has a uh, submission. Asuka has a submission. Sasha has a submission. Ember Moon has a pin. Rhea Ripley has a pin or a submission. Nia Jax has a pin. Bianca Belair has a pin. Paige has a pin or a submission. Natalia has a submission. Naomi has a pin. Beth Phoenix has a pin. And Alexa and Bliss a has a pin. Who, Beth Phoenix? Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't. You can turn the glam slam into a submission easily. Yeah, but she doesn't. If anything, she's going to do a sharpshooter like Natalia. But the reason I say it has to be a submission finish is because their finishers are submissions. Well, okay, so how do you say that? 
uh, Bianca comes out to try to help Ember win, but then it gets reversed and she just rolls her up. It's on a small package. Yeah. So it has to be a submission finish or a small package. Same thing I said with uh, Becky. It has to be a disarmer or a small package. But why would Naomi come out and help Ember Moon win against Sasha? Who's going into the who's who's the face in that match? They both faces is Sasha heel. Sasha's heel. Sasha's heel in that. Okay. Sasha's the face. Didn't in that. she leave heel? After the WrestleMania match, it's really hard to hate her. It was a great match. I still still hate her. I know, but did she, I, I did she shake she's Bianca's a... hand at the end of it? I don't know. Did she? Shit? I think I so. don't care. Just because she's a good wrestler doesn't mean I have to like her. That's true, hundred percent. I hate her gimmick. It's stupid. Sasha's gimmick? Yeah. Let's... Never liked the boss gimmick. It's fucking stupid. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Rhea and Nia. Rhea just beats her. I don't know. <laughs> Submission. Roll up. Well, two, like, Rhea's like, going I'll into be... as a heel, right? Yeah, Nia's no. a heel. Nia's a heel. But Rhea's a heel, too. Not really. Okay. I feel like Rhea gets... If she, if she can get Nia into the Riptide... She, I think she can do it. That'd be an impact. That would be that great. Is. That would be great. What about Bianca and Paige? Just a clean pen. Yeah. No. I don't know. It's, it's hard. See, see, like I was trying. I didn't like think in depth about it. You know what we need? We need a whiteboard. A whiteboard. I think we need a whiteboard. We have one right there. Kind no, of. that's a calendar. Well, it's still dry erase board. Yeah. I think I, eh, I may invest into a whiteboard. We'll have you get behind us. You can van a white this shit. I have one. I can just bring it. Mm. I'm going to use it as we go. How big is it? Probably like just a little bit smaller than that. Mm. We'll talk about that. Okay, so um, Natty taps out Naomi, yep. obviously. Yep. Beth Phoenix, obviously. Blam slam. How's it obvious to Alexa Bliss though? She has that. Fiend no, I'm, I'm saying the fin, the finish. I know, but like, 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 can you put Beth over Alexa cleanly and not ruin that Alexa evil fiend gimmick? Okay, right, so Nikki is upset that she lost to Bailey, so she comes out to try to help like Beth or help Alexa win, and then it causes her to lose, you're and then really, that causes you're really that. you're really into like interference and shit. Like I don't have any other explanation. But interference to where it doesn't work out. It happens. I know, but it's happened like three times in your King of the Ring. No, it didn't. You said that. You didn't like my answer. You wanted Naomi to come out and help Ender Moon. I did not say Naomi. And it I backfired. Said, I didn't say Naomi. Who'd you say? Who comes out to help Ender Moon? Because I'll tell you right now, you said Naomi. No, I said Bianca. Bianca comes out to help Ender Ember Moon. And it backfires because, Sasha because, wins. Because, yeah, okay. because, yeah. Okay, and you want the same thing to happen with Nikki. You want Nikki to come out to help Alexa, and it backfires in the bet. So you got two, uh, you got two botched interferences. You got, like, three roll-ups. And the rest of them are submissions. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, like, that's what you have. Nothing wrong with Okay, what is, what is the finish to every single one of your matches, genius? Oh, you want me to do that? Why'd you make me do it if you weren't going to do it? Because it's my show. And I'm the head host. And I could do shit like that. I could run through He's going to pull a bunch of shit out of his ass right now. Rhea versus Naomi. Rhea uh, wins with a pin. Tony Storm versus Carmella. Uh, Tony wins with a pin. Tamina Tony. and Liv Morgan. It's a roll-up. It's, you know, it's a surprise victory. Sasha versus Mia. It's a submission. Shayna versus Asuka. I'm going to go with the submission on Asuka. I know it's surprising. Baszler's going to tap out. Which I don't think she ever did before. I think she I ever did. Know. I don't know. They'd be excited to see. Uh, Alexa Bliss beats out Eva Marie because it's Eva fucking Marie. <laughs> uh, Nikki. Well, I didn't pick jobbers. I picked like actual wrestlers, and it was whoa, hard. Whoa, 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 jobbers. Eva Excuse Marie is me? not a wrestler. I'm Evolution? sorry. <laughs> uh, Eva Marie is not a good wrestler. I'm sorry. Nikki Ash rolls up Nia Jax, and Charlotte Flair uh, taps out Dana Brooke. And you're saying that the Dana Brooke versus Charlotte Flair match isn't going to be a jobber match? No, 100% is. That's why it's the first round. 
I'm not costing fucking, uh, you know, the Raw Women's Champion or the NXT Women's but Champion. But this isn't about the championships. Or the SmackDown. All three of your fucking Women's Champions get eliminated in the first round. That's why they have the matches set up for the pay-per-view. Just saying. Like, I'm just saying, like, I'll take jobs. I knew you were going to say that I will shit. T- I will take jobs in the first They're- round. Then, then the ch- okay, but champions. they don't even deserve to be included in the bracket. Who? The job. Eva Marie. Freaking. That's why it's first round, so you can get them over. Who's that? Who's that? That's yeah. my. Is that uh, your boyfriend. My boyfriend's dad. Oh, put him on the phone. No. Put him on speaker. No. Bring him on the show. No. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, that's why you have first rounds, so, so you could job them out to get them out to the next No, I, the way I mean it, every single person on this list is deserving of that okay. title. Let's say, let's say you get a King of the Ring, okay? Let me see your paper real quick here. You don't mind mess it up. I know, I will. Give me your pen. No, write on a new sheet of paper. I just, I'm just going to do it up here in the corner real quick. I just need, give me your pen. Alright, so let's say. You messed up my sheet. I did, 100%. I'm upset. I would be too. Okay. You have eight spots, right? So you have Stone Cold, okay? You have Rock. You have Triple H. You have Sean. You have Brett. No, I spelled Brett wrong. You have Baker. <laughs> you have Cena. Are you just coming up with names? Yeah. Brock Lesnar, okay? You have eight fucking people. Who's King of the Ring out of that? What year are we talking? It doesn't matter. Bret the, Hart. The prime of all of their careers, who's, who's king of the ring? Bret Hart. Why? Why not Brock Lesnar? Brock Lesnar... Brock Lesnar sucks. Undertaker. Why not Undertaker? Because he's a monster. He doesn't need to be king of the ring. Okay. So, let's do this. Stone Cold. Steve Austin. Rock. Stone Cold over Rock. Kane. Uh, Viscera. CM Punk. This is very realistic. I know, that's crazy. Uh, Brooklyn Brawler. Uh, Horace Hogan. Who? Right, NWO. Um, and uh, Taz. Does Brooklyn Brawler win that? What? Does the Brooklyn Brawler win this King of the Ring? I don't even see him on the list. Brooklyn Brawler, BB, right oh. there, six. Does he win this King of the Ring? No. Why? Because he's a jobber. It gets you to move forward to the next round. If you put too many like main eventers into a list, yeah, but it makes it more suspenseful because like, oh, who's gonna win? Like these well, are two yeah. great wrestlers, and that's what the semifinals are for, or even the quarterfinals. You don't do the first round like that. Okay, how many more extra female wrestlers are there to add to that list, except for like the three that you had? What do you mean? Who else you could add? Like just NXT or from the main roster? Never mind. I had Carmella on there. I had Liv Morgan on there. I had Dana Brooke on there. I had Eva Marie. I had four yeah, I, of I, I had all them in my mind, but I didn't think they were. See, yeah. They, I didn't think they could live up to the other people on this list. But that's what the first round is for, just to get your person to the next. Well, round. you have your opinions. I have mine. Hundred percent. That's what this is all about. <laughs> I mean, I understand your logic. Don't get me wrong. Because it's it's a genius logic. But mine makes sense too. Yours hundred percent. Yours yours does a hundred percent make sense. I would work some people around. Like I'd probably move a couple people around and stuff like that. But that's just me. You know, for me, like, what does it matter? That's not my list. My list is over here. Okay. Uh, so. I had Rhea and Carmella, uh, Morgan and Banks, Oscar and Bliss, uh, Nikki and Charlotte. I had Rhea winning. I had Liv Morgan winning. I had Alexa Bliss winning. And I had Charlotte winning. Who you got? Uh, Bailey versus Charlotte. I have Charlotte winning. Becky versus Sasha. I have Becky winning. Rhea versus Paige. I have Rhea winning. By the way, I just think that would be a phenomenal match. And their their gimmicks click and everything. I just think it would. You don't yeah. think it'd be a clash? Like two very they have two different. Games. They wrestle different styles, though. 
What I do like, I guess, when you kind of look at it that way, is like when because Rhea kind of expresses herself as being like a punk person. Paige like dresses as it, but never really says like I'm punk rock. So I can kind of see that. So I get that. Um, okay, so Rhea over Paige. And then I have Natty over Beth, which I hated to do, but Natty's the queen of hearts. So she's got to get it. She's got to move on. I got you. Uh, and the, uh, I think this is considered semifinals, I guess. Uh, Rhea goes over Liv Morgan, and Charlotte goes over Alexa Bliss. So my final is Rhea versus Charlotte. My final is Charlotte versus Natty. Okay. And my final is determined at the Evolution pay-per-view. Is that how it usually goes? No. I guess how this is how I'm doing it. That's how I'm booking it. If you're to have a uh, a women's uh, a queen of the ring, where do you have the finals at? The Queen of the City. I know, but like WrestleMania, SummerSlam. <laughs> I thought you meant town. Royal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just on a SmackDown, the inaugural women's show that they should release. Where do you have that? Just just the final match? Yeah. Because keep in mind, you got Charlotte versus Natalia. Great match, but I wouldn't... I, would, I think it should be on whatever pay-per-view is that month. But where would you set it as? Would you set it up to where the final happens at WrestleMania, Survivor Series, SummerSlam? Now, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want it to be clashing with SummerSlam... Or WrestleMania, or the Royal Rumble, because all the women, all the main women, are already going to have main matches. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to want to interfere with the other things going on on that pay per view. Okay. So look at the other pay per views. You got uh, Money in the Bank, Elimination Chamber. Uh, I think Hell in a Cell. Mhm. Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules. You don't want to do a many of those. Uh, was it Clash of Champions or? Whatever the hell they call it. I guess you could have it there. Or they bring back King of the Ring. I mean, as long as whatever women make it to the finals aren't involved in whatever major storyline for the matches on the pay-per-view, I mean... Yeah, you could have that at WrestleMania. It wouldn't be a main event. Nothing against Italia, but I wouldn't put her in a main event, but... Well, I wasn't... I was thinking, you know, Queen of Hearts versus The Queen, you know? That's what I wear. I, I dig it. No, and I like I like that. I think that'd be a great match. I can see that being a WrestleMania opener. And her wanting to fight for the Queen of the Ring because her uncle was King of the Ring. Dig it. Cool. And Charlotte's freaking flair, so. Charlotte freaking flair. All right, let's talk about the uh, Evolution pay per view. Um, there was no set time for. I did October 2021 just because I think the one that they did in 2017, 2018, whatever, I think that was October. Um, and I don't believe they have a pay per view scheduled for October yet either, so maybe it could happen. Isn't October usually like. Uh, I thought it was Hell in a Cell. I thought it was Hell in a Cell, but I, I don't, maybe, I don't know. Uh, if I look at. The oh, wait, year, Hell in a Cell already happened this year. It did. Uh, Summer. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just had a stroke right now? Call the ambulance. Right, right. <laughs> right. You don't you don't cut this camera until you get all the footage you need. I probably wouldn't even know how to turn this camera off, honestly. <laughs> oh god, right. I'd have to fucking get hold of it. I I'd, I'd have to find a way. You'd have if I die on camera, you make sure you upload that shit. <laughs> you, uh, well we have it recorded, so that's your dying that's wish. There, right? <laughs> Uh, August 21st is SummerSlam. August 22nd is TakeOver. September 26th is Extreme Rules. October 21st is to be determined out of Saudi Arabia. That's going to be a stupid show. Going then. back to Saudi. <sighs> no, they're probably going to cancel that. Oh, fuck, yeah. All well, the freaking new strands of COVID. Apparently, Can't travel. Yeah. Apparently, they're going to have a pay-per-view on January 1st. Probably Royal Rumble. Interesting. No. Royal well, Rumble's in January all the not time. Not the beginning of January. Not January 1st. Well, why would they have two in January? May not going to have one in December. Who knows? But we're here to talk about uh, Evolution. So, we did nine matches. We both did uh, two pre-show matches. Um, we'll just go one by one. What is your first match and who goes over? Then we'll just go back and forth with it. So I did uh, Naomi versus Carmella in a pre-show match, and I have Naomi going over. 
Yeah. What? Did, okay. The uh, the stars are the pre show ticket. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, my pre show match is Mandy Rose and Frankie Monet versus Naomi and Mia Yim, with uh, Rose and Monet going over. Are they like a thing in NXT? It looks like there's something going on with them because Frankie's getting more involved in uh, the Robert Stone brand, and it kind of seems like Mandy's like taking a personal interest in what they're doing. So it's gonna go with the assumption it's gonna blossom into that. I'm just doing kind of what I think I would like to see, mm-hmm. and what would be a great wrestling match. You know, me and Kamala would be good. I mean, I think, I think they feuded with each other when they're champions. Yeah, so. I think they did. Yeah. But I didn't know how else to include them with everybody else. Did you so I wanted see to... the wardrobe malfunction that Kamala come back? Carmella? Carmella had when? I want. I don't know if it was a. I, I, it was either SmackDown last week or it was on a house show because I didn't get a chance to watch SmackDown yet. But it was crazy. Like her fucking her top, the back of it fucking split. <laughs> I don't know if Bianca didn't notice it or what, but they just kept fucking going. I think like it was like a minute and a half before they finally did the roll up pin on it. But it was uh, it was interesting. Anyways, go ahead. What's your match too? I have Liv Morgan versus Shotzi Blackheart. They're both young and spunky, and I feel like that would be a great fast-paced match. Mm-hmm. What's your second match? It was over. Oh, uh, Liv. There we go. Uh, Nia Jax versus Dewdrop. You know, some powerhouses. We have a run. Oh, that's a pre-show match. That's a pre-show. Oh, yeah, that's fucking pre-show. Uh, Dewdrop goes over. By the way, what the fuck's with the name? I don't know. Apparently it's some sexual innuendo that uh, either no one doesn't know or Vince doesn't know and somebody would be funny to do it. But I'd rather it be what, Piper Nevins or something like that. Yeah, she was in the UK, right? Fuck yeah, she was. Yep. All right, match three. The first match of the pay-per-view. What do you got? I have Asuka versus Shayna Baszler in a submission match. Because I don't think they really ever really concluded with their feud when she knocked her teeth out. True. Forgot about that. Who goes over? Shayna. Shayna. I have a WWE Women's Tag Team title match, and this is based on the fact that Natalia got injured, they got vacated the titles, blah, blah, blah. Shotzi, Bla- Shotzi, I'm sorry, it's not Blackheart anymore. Shotzi and Knox taking on Tony Storm and Liv Morgan, just to kind of throw them together tag team to take them on. Shotzi and Knox go over and uh, become new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Okay, match two. Mm-hmm. I have for the Raw Women's Championship, Nikki Ash versus Alexa Bliss. With Alexa getting over. I would love to see Dark Alexa with the championship. Now, the way you had is this how you would book it on the show or you just listed out matches that you wanted to see? So this is match two on your list of the main. Is this like the second match? Oh, I didn't really. Well, because I I, I I tried to kind of make it. Yeah. You know, I don't know. But that's what I'm asking. I because I listed mine as if I was booking the show. I just want to know if that's what you're going for or what your plan was. It doesn't have to be. I'm not saying it has to be. I'm just asking. No, I feel like that's probably the right order. Okay. Cool. I'm I'm fine with it. I mean, Cause you seen, gotta you gotta start off kind of fast and exciting. Yeah. Well, you seen you seen Dada E do a lot of times having fucking championship open matches. With, yeah, yeah so. open open with one and close with one. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, next match is the number one contendership match for the NXT Women's Championship. Kaylee Ray, former NXT UK champion, taking on Candice LeRae. Um, I put Kaylee Ray over. Who is the uh, UK champion now? I can't remember her name. I actually just looked it up uh, Wednesday when I was doing this list, and honestly, I can't. I, I want to say it's a Japanese wrestler. I just can't remember her name. UK championship is Japanese. What? I, I could totally look it up. Uh, go ahead. Do your one. Do your next one. I'll look it up while you're doing that. Uh, my third match, uh, I put three former women's UK champions. In a triple threat match, Rhea Ripley versus Tony Storm versus Kaylee Ray, with Rhea going over. I think that would be a great match to see. All three of them are. Yeah, I would love to see uh, Kaylee Ray, you know, come more involved in the main roster and stuff like that. Just because I mean, like NXT UK is awesome, but NXT UK can only be watched on the network. It's not like live on TV like the regular one is. Uh 
Miko Satamora. Okay, then. Japanese professional wrestler, yeah. How is a Japanese person UK champion? I thought it was strictly for UK, yeah. whatever. Never mind. I'm not questioning Well, anything. it's a UK championship because it's based off NXT UK. It's not for British people only. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought every wrestler in NXT UK was British? English. No. They got Irish people there. Also, just like the Euro- Europe countries, European countries. Yeah, UK is just because that's where it's at. But Japan's not anywhere near Europe. No. Neither is USA and Io Shirai's here. I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. I get your theory. Like, I get your logic. But no. Major updates on Brock Lesnar's status with AEW. What? That'd be awesome. No, it's just, I mean, that's just where she's signed to. Who knows, maybe she lives in the UK. It's okay for China, uh, Japanese people I'm to not, live in the I'm UK. I'm not being, like, racist or anything. You're not, no, I'm, you're I'm, not. I'm just, like, saying, like... I'm going to tell you right now, if anyone out there thinks you're being racist about this, they can fuck themselves. Because they're the racist. No. <laughs> okay. No. Also, 40, No, I'm just saying, I, li- I literally genuinely thought that UK... Actually, it was UK for UK wrestlers. That's what I thought. I think at the beginning it was, but, I mean, they just keep uh, pulling in talent, and... I think what it is, I think I think they just have talent from the NXT UK and they train, they get them a little work in there, transition them over to the main uh, NXT, and then they can move them to the main roster. I mean, the only exception to that that I have seen so far was a uh, dewdrop. But oh, shit. Did, I, did you see your third match already? Uh, no, you didn't. No, three. yes, you did. No, no I'm not, this my this is my third one. Yeah, I did. You already said the tag team. This is number five. Okay. That's number five for you. Oh. You just did. You just did your number five. Mine is the NXT Women's Title match with Gonzalez versus uh, Dakota Kai, with uh, Gonzalez going over. Okay. My fourth match, mm-hmm. women's tag team championships, would be Natty speak and up. Tamina. I am speaking. Yeah, speak up. I'm loud enough. Fucking speak up. I am loud enough. Thank you. That's all you need to do. Natty and Tamina versus Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell and the returning Bellas. So a three-way tag team match for the tag team titles. And the only reason I put the Bellas in there is because there's word about them wanting to return. And I know if they could return, I know WWE... We'll push them down our throats, and there's no doubt they will put the titles on them if they do come back. They won't come back. How do you know? There's no reason for them to be back in WWE now. With Daniel Bryan being gone and, back, and Nikki not dating fucking John Cena, no, fucking, no, there's no way. Fuck no, I don't need them back. I mean, she, they're not needed. I'm not saying that. I'm just they're saying. They're 100% not needed. They weren't <laughs> needed back when they fucking showed up here. No, I know. I, I hate I Why did not like that. I wasn't a fan. Oh, I wasn't a fan. No, I don't like that either. No. Uh, I have uh, my next match. I have Asuka uh, taking on Shayna in just a regular singles match with Asuka going over. He totally copied my paper. 100%. Even though we wrote this at different times in different places. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, fifth main match, I have Bianca Belair versus Ember Moon for the SmackDown Women's Championship. With? Belair going over. My next match is my Duddy SmackDown Women's title match with Bianca Belair taking on Sasha with Sasha going over. <laughs> it's a build to Survivor Series. Bianca can take the one title back. They don't need every single women champion they don't need Sasha title to come for back. 200, 300 fucking days. Anyways, go ahead. Next match. And then I have Raquel Gonzalez versus Dakota Kai for the NXT Women's title in a street fight. Gotcha. With Raquel going over and retaining. Nice. I have uh, an Alexa Playhouse match. Is it going to be as dumb as the Funhouse? I'm hoping it's exactly like the Funhouse oh. match, which was awesome. The John Cena Funhouse match? I was so lost the that whole time. Amazing. I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I was yeah. like... <laughs> that was the whole... Point. There wasn't even... It wasn't even a match. There wasn't even a winner. That was fine. That was the whole point of the match. It's just to show how stupid he was. Uh, but I have Alexa going over. Because it's Alexa. I guess it would be considered more of a playground match. 
So, correction. Alexa, playground match. So. All right, what's your main event? He hates this. It's a match that I will never, ever get sick of watching, no matter how many times it happens. But it's never happened, right? Not, not, not here. It's happened in NXT. Like, when they first, when they were first a thing. The four of them did have a fatal four-way match. But not on the main roster. Okay. Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks versus Bailey, The four horsewomen in a fatal four-way elimination match. Who is number one? Charlotte Flair. He's not listening. I'm listening to everything you're saying. I just wanted to double check something real quick. Is it, uh, so who, could you give me the elimination order? Because I'm kind of curious about that. The elimination order? Yes. So who gets eliminated first down to the last? That's exactly what uh, elimination order means. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. I just have to make sure I understand everything you're saying, okay? Yeah. <laughs> So who gets, can I guess who you would have? Do you know the order? Because I would like to guess it. I hear. I want to hear what you think first. Sasha, Bailey, th- Becky. Because you don't like fucking Sasha. No, Sasha's definitely going first. Yeah, and I think um, you'd rather see Becky and Charlotte uh, over Charlotte and Bailey. So I feel like Bailey would eliminate Sasha. Charlotte would eliminate Becky, and it would be Charlotte and Bailey at the end. Because I don't really think they've fully gone at it like that. Like, it's always been Charlotte, Becky, Charlotte, I Sasha. I, just, I, I think heel on heel just wouldn't be a good finish. But it's the four horsemen. I guess at the same time. Okay, so from my perspective, how how long has Becky been back before this pay-per-view? I don't freaking know. When give, it, give me a year, six months. Is this her first match back? Just a couple pull months. Pull it out of your ass. Couple, couple months. months. Okay. Has she wrestled before this? Yes, but not like just in the. Well, no, you said it says no. Not like, answer. not like. Okay, if this was her serious, first match back, I like, think her being in the finals with Charlotte makes more sense. Well, yeah. But if she's been back, then okay. But, you know, you, you, that makes sense, too, what you're saying about the heels. Like, But we don't know how Bailey is going to be coming back, if she's going to be heel or face. She's oh, better as a on. face. You think Hug Life is going to come back? No, I'm not saying she'll be Hug Life again, but I'm saying she could. I'm, she's a better face. Yeah. I like how they kind of turned it into a fucking Karen at the end there. That's my dad always says. Yeah, I freaking Karen haircut. But well, dad, you think everything's a Karen haircut? You say Rhea Ripley has a Karen haircut, and so does Bailey. They're two completely different haircuts. So, all right, minor main event. Uh, I decided to make the Queen of the Ring final my main event, and because it's Rhea versus Charlotte Flair, ultimate thirty-minute submission match to determine the Queen of the Ring winner, and uh, I chose Rhea because uh, no one expects it. Well, yeah. People would want Charlotte to win and to kind of a swerve. Plus, it gives Charlotte an opportunity to give back to Rhea after Rhea dropped the title to her twice. Twice? Yeah. She dropped the NXT title at WrestleMania. She dropped the Raw title. Oh, yeah, t- yeah. Uh, she brought the Raw title at, uh, where the fuck the last, uh, fucking, uh, what is it, Money? No, Money in the Bank? Is it Money in the mm-hmm. Bank? Yeah. Mm hmm. Cool. All right, as we're wrapping up, is there anything we missed? Anything else you want to talk about before we go? Mm, I don't think so. Are we, wait, was this top eight a thing, or were you just including that in the bracket? I don't know what the hell you meant by top eight. You said something about list your top eight female wrestlers. And then you turned it into oh, the... Oh, yeah, I remember what you're talking about now. And then you turned it into the Queen of the Ring 16 women so, thing. So, yeah, so what I wanted to do is... Kind of scenes here, guys. I wanted each of us, you, me, and uh, the guy who's supposed to be here, uh, pick our top eight, and then we choose the ones we have in common, throw those into an eight-person bracket, and the ones we didn't, just pro and con, which ones we should put in there, and then turn it into an eight-person. So kind of like what we did last show with uh, NWO, kind of? Yeah, in a way. Yeah, kind of. 
Um, but no, we changed it up. We just did it differently. So, with your top eight there, that yeah, makes a lot of sense. Oh, Charlotte number one, go figure. But not any certain order. Yeah, I can tell with that Phoenix being number eight. Anyways, okay. Uh, so since uh, Dizzle Jay's not here, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do. And we're gonna do a daily pick of the week. So uh, pick of the week. I get to pick the pick, pick the match of the week. No, I'm gonna pick it. Oh. I'm just gonna call it a daily pick of the week. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm excited for a minute. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do the uh, fatal four way. That's gonna be your, your pick of the week. Is okay. a fatal four way match from NXT. Okay. So we'll post it up on uh, the it's Facebook great match. Page. Amazing match. I've never seen it, so I'm you should to look. Watch it, it yeah, time. you should watch it. I did have a different one. I think I send it in the messenger. Um, so maybe we'll do that one for the next episode uh, when DJ doesn't show up again. So, <laughs> who knows? It could be next year when we all get together. Yeah. <sighs> God, it wouldn't surprise me. But uh, make sure you guys do follow us on social media: at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You didn't, uh, you, just... didn't, you didn't plug the other two things. What's, what's the other two things? This is the, the comic oh, book thing. The comic book thing. No, it's still a thing. Oh. It's just there's not more information about it yet. But, I mean, you guys, go to cartercomics.com and pick up some amazing comic books. Uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, there is a uh, kind of a giveaway, kind of a promotional thing that we're trying to work on to do for uh, our listeners who buy comic books through him. So uh, go to cartercomics.com, check out all his amazing comic books, and pick up some uh, some comics, I guess. Uh, if you're in the area the next few weeks, check out Power Entertainment. JPH from Southland's going defend his title against Scott Spade. They have a lot of great talent there. They're another company in the Midwest. Yeah. Um, we could post that. Is there, I think ARW has a show in August. I think. I don't know the date, though. See, I don't know, because the last thing I saw on ARW show was like, have a great 4th of July. We'll see you in September. Oh, they did say that? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So, um, I thought they were doing it every month. I thought they were, too. So, uh, but but we'll post the POW information on Facebook so you guys can check out uh, JPH. Defend the SCW Heavyweight Championship in POW. Um, I'll post up the Carter Comics stuff information as well. We'll post up uh, any other indie shows that are coming up. And Amazon Music has officially sponsored us. Uh, if you guys go to getamazonmusic.com slash freaknet, you can sign up for, I believe it's a 60-day free trial of Amazon Music. Is uh, it kind of like a Spotify thing? Yeah, but it's more music and... Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? It's exactly like Spotify, except just through Amazon. So it's better. Because Spotify doesn't sponsor our show. <laughs> True. So go to getamazonmusic.com slash freaknet. Sign up today. I believe it's a 60-day free trial. I'll double check and confirm it. I'll post it up on social media as well, along with Dally's Pick of the Week that I uh, picked for her. And well, can... technically I did pick it, because I did. mentioned she it. She hundred percent picked it, because she, she rebooked it. Uh, you could, uh, you could find our show when it's Same released. match, just freaking what? Same match, just different era. Seven, eight years later, something like Dang. that? Probably more, I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? It'd probably be better. Probably. Uh, you can find our show on, uh, Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, Verbal, Amazon, uh, anywhere you can find your podcast just by searching Just Freak Wrestling or the Jam Theory Podcast. You can also find a video release of YouTube as well. That's all I got. All right, well, it's time to ring the bell on this episode. Perfect! As always, I am Travis C. And I'm Dally. And... Thank you for listening to our episode of Just Freak Wrestling. The JFW Podcast.